I, can't, I come to tell you, we can't get distracted now. We can't get distracted now. We're almost to the end of this thing, Brother Gary. And if we begin to get distracted, I tell you what, the enemy will take us. He'll take us. I believe the other that morning, I heard three of them here testify. I can't hear what the young man's name was. I thought maybe Sister Gail from ages get testified about three young boys, I guess they was, begin to cross the road. Said they begin to cross the road, two of them were there making the cross. But the third one, he was on his phone looking down, and the car come by, and she said it hit him, and it cost him in his life. I tell you about how distracted he was. He didn't realize that death was coming his way. I will tell you what, tonight you'll get so distracted you won't realize that the enemy is creeping up right upon you and he's about to get you and you don't even know it because you're so distracted with so much going on that we don't even realize it right there. You may say, are you preaching on sin? No, I'm preaching on distractions. The Bible said, lay on side every way to sin. That's so easily to set you. I tell you what, right there, not everything that we do is sin, but it can be a weight. And after a while, I realized I could say, well, this is a weight and it ain't really sin, but I can pack it for a while and it'll be all right and I can still serve God. And after a while, that journey gets so heavy. I realize, Lord, it ain't just a weight anymore. It's become a sin unto me because I begin to put it before you. I put it before you, and I can't serve you in a way that I like to. That I like to today. There's many distractions. You know, you can touch on a lot of things. I thought maybe Brother Freeman said the other morning, he said, Your job can be a distraction unto you. And I'll tell you what, today you begin to preach on jobs, and people trying to uh, want to have their opinion, Brother Jerry. I'm a man that believes a man's not a word. I'll tell you what, the time that you put it before God. I tell you what, you in trouble today. You in trouble today. Have you done it, preacher? Sure I have. Sure I have. I put it before the Lord. I said, well, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to put up money and get ahead. You know what, Freeman? The more I try to put ahead, the farther I got behind. And the more I realize the power of God inside of me was weaker than when I began. I tell you what, today we can get so weak, we think that we're doing good. I thought today, let me read to you. Maybe just one script, a couple of scriptures, and I'll get out of the way. I'll tell you what, Brother Jerry, our people's living in a time. You may have heard me tell it. I told it maybe several places. Maybe even told it here, but let me tell it again. I thought maybe a while back we went up Brother Jerry's. Brother Jerry, when we sit there with you in the house, everyone was sick. We went up to pray. I thought Brother Jerry sitting there with that hat on his head. With his leg crossed like he is right now. Thought maybe Brother Charlie, he began to talk about the old days. About the power of God how it fell, about things that happened in his time. All of a sudden the power of God began to come down and he cried. He began to take that hat off and he would cry. Telling those stories. He put that hat back on a few minutes later. He'd tell them and begin to cry. That hat would begin to come off. You knew the power of God was coming down. Jerry, I left that day with a longing in my heart. I said, Lord, where are we at today? And a lot of times we think that we've changed. And I'll tell you what, today, I believe people have got to the place that we've met the life that we're living in, the world that we're living in. It's distracting us in a way that we cannot get a hold of God. But I think in the old days, the Bible said He was the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes. God. God has not changed, Brother Jerry. We want to come out of it and say, well, he's drawing his spirit back. I don't believe that in the least. He said, the last days, I pour out my spirit upon all men. I want to tell you what today he wants to pour it out. But we're so distracted. We don't know where it's coming from. We don't know, Brother Jerry. Let me read. I don't want him to read no way. I'll tell you what, I'd like to get to a place that this world don't distract me. It won't, don't distract me. Yeah, you know they say a lot of times, they say we live in the world when we don't have to be part of the world. We don't have to be. We don't have to be. We're living in an age where Joseph and 
technology age, a social media age as they want to call it. And that's what they want. They want. Uh, they call them influencers. That's what our people run after, Brother Jerry. Hey, Brother Jerry, maybe not fully understand what that means. I tell you, our young people knows there's influencers, Brother Jerry. People that put things on social media and our young people want to watch it. Yeah, I want that. Yeah. I want what they got. I want what clothes they wear. I want what they pack. I want this. I want that. I tell you what, today, I like to be an influencer for God. Yeah. I like for our people to look at the children of God and let them influence them today right. to be men and women that walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh right. today. Yeah. I like to be an influencer yeah. for the church. I'm telling you today we're living in that time that it's destroying our people. Amen. I know it gets touchy, it does. It's a touchy subject when you want to talk on it. And a lot of times, Brother Charlie, they want to say you meddling in it. No, but I just feel like I want to be playing tonight. Can I be playing with you tonight? Playing words is easy and understood. I want to tell you what today it's hindering our walk with the Lord. You say, why? Why in the world when I move people don't confident in me? It's because of the things that you say, the things that you do, all that thing that's pure garbage. And they see what you say. And they say, why in the world would I want to follow somebody that talks that way, that acts that way today? I tell you, oh, we're distracted yeah. by the things of this world. And it's hindering our walk yeah, with the Lord. Right. Right. You say, I can control it. I'm afraid, brother. I'm afraid, sister, you ain't controlling it very well. You ain't controlling it very well. You say, I can have it do good. I'm afraid you came. I'm afraid you came. Because it's showing on us today. It's showing on us, brother. The Bible says here, 1 Peter, 1 Peter, say, uh, 1 Peter 5th chapter, the eighth verse. I'll just read this. It says, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion, <coughs> walking about, seeking who he made about. What's that mean, preacher? Be sober, be vigilant. That means you better be watching. You get distracted. I promise you the enemy's right on our trail. He's right, on our trail. He's right on our trail. We slow down every moment. I promise you he'll get in you. He'll catch us. He'll catch us on a wire. And he'll be as a roaring lion. And he'll seek who he made of iron. He's looking for that one right there that's all from the pack. Distracted with things of this world. And when he sees you in that condition, he's going to ease over that way. And begin to try to see where he can get in. And after a while, when he sees that he can get in, he'll become the pounce on you and take you. Say, so, preacher, will he really do it? I tell you what, the enemy will. If you ain't being sober and vigilant, we've got to watch the enemy because he is creeping in. Yeah, yeah. He's creeping in, brother. We don't even realize. Yes, that's right. We're living in a time that we feel like this is just the time that we're in. And maybe they'll say the older ones don't understand. Now I tell you what, today I'm more and more realizing that we've let the enemy put things in the house of God that shouldn't even be there, Brother Jason. It shouldn't even be there today. You say, can I not have it? Do what you want with it. Now I tell you what, today all I see is destruction. All I see is uh, shipwreck. All I see is Things on their brother that makes people lose confidence in our people today. I just put it where it is today. They'll begin to call, they'll begin to text and say so and so, done this and posted this. Now you know what I want to do? I want to hang my head. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I tell you what, today it shouldn't even not be named among us today. We are homeless people. We are homeless people, brother. Oh, we want to 
and our people should want to be famous. Right. Trying to make money on tanks. One time right there they preached on TV. Now we want to be on it. Now we want to be on it today, Brother Charlie. I don't want to be on it, Brother Jason. I don't want nothing to do with it today. I tell you what we need to watch out. The enemy is sneaking in our wire, Brother Derby. We don't even realize it. And we're saying, well, it ain't sin. Yeah, but it's a way. And I tell you what, it's weighing you down in a way. That it's hindering our walk with God. It's hindering us today, Brother Charlie. It is. I know the service is going good, and the enemy says you just spend money in tanks. But there our people has let things go on too long. And we've let it distract us in a way. And when we come out to the house of God, we're just doing it part. Prophesying in part, but it says that, that is perfect that comes. It'll do away with that that's in part. I want the real power of God, brother. I want that to do away with that that's in part, brother. We do many times we come out and they say, you know, Brother Richard said, uh, maybe the other day and it, said, it don't sit well with our people. He said, you know, you have a maybe compassion and you go pray for somebody. I guess that's good, but compassion won't do me no it good, Brother Jerry. It's God that move on you. Right. It's God that move on you today. Right. Right. Compassion right. won't do no good. Right. Wait till the power of God right. comes by. Right. And it'll break that yoke of bondage. It'll heal. It will. It'll accomplish that that God set out to do today. Right. It will today. It'll accomplish that. Yeah, it I tell you what, we're distracted. Maybe it may even cost us. Yeah, they cost us everything. They got young boys being distracted, got run over. You know what? That's pitiful. You know what? Spiritually, Brother Joel, we are distracted. Let me preach on myself. I'm distracted with things. I'm distracted today. And I've let it, Brother Jerry, from time to time, I've let it get me to a place that I can't get a hold of God. You say, oh, I can do it and I can get a hold of God. Maybe you can today. Maybe you can, but I tell you what, when people see, they begin to look, they say, how in the world they get a hold of God and do what they do. Yeah, they I tell you what, today it's here in your walk. I like yeah. people that have confidence in me yeah. more than anything. But there are people say a lot of times, I don't care what people think of me. I bet the difference today. If you don't think much of me, I'll never be able to help you. I'll never be able to help you. But if I can keep the confidence of the people, Maybe I can help somebody. Yeah. Maybe I can help somebody. Yeah. Right. Let's not be distracted, young people. Right. Thought maybe the older ones, you know, Brother Jerry, some of them may text or whatever. I ain't preaching on texting. And I'll tell you what I've seen where these things that's crept in amongst our people. That's just pure out foolishness. Yeah. Just foolishness, Brother Jerry. Yeah. You can see it. I thought at one time. You know, I, I, I was younger. I thought I'd catch on with the fight of everybody else. They had Snapchat, and I thought, man, this is pretty neat. Had it just a few weeks. I said, all this is of the dead. Yeah. All it is is of the dead. Yeah. And I got me and I said, what in the world would you want something that every time you send a message out, it deleted it as soon as you sent it. All that is is to be able to hide. All you're doing is trying to hide something. Why would I want something I had to hide all the time, Brother Jerry? Right. I said, I don't want nothing to do with that. I tried a few more things, and the more and more I realized, I thought I'd justify it. Let me tell you, I thought maybe I got Instagram and Facebook, let me preach on myself, and I decided I was going to go in with a little business of my own. I said, well, I got this business. I was going to do like mounts for deer and things, but Jerry, oh, it's going good. Uh, you know, I said, well, I got to have this platform, they call it, so I can get out all over and people see it. Oh, it was doing good, Charlie. Yeah. What I realized, the more that I was trying to do this for business, all I was doing laying in the bed all night looking at everybody else's business. Yeah. None of their business is working. What they was doing yeah. at their house, yeah. what they was eating for supper, where they was going on vacation. I tell you what, today, Brother Jerry, it ruined my walk with God. Yeah. It ruined my walk with yeah. God. Yeah. Because I seen everybody yeah. else's business, everybody else's problem. The Bible says, be not a busy body, another man's matters. I tell you what, all it is today. 
all right? You think I'm just preaching on Facebook and Instagram? I'm not. I'm preaching on all of us. It's all up today. Yeah. But Jerry, we didn't need that then when you was coming up. And after a while, the first thing come along was MySpace. Oh, that was the greatest thing there ever was. Oh, and you know what it done? It just eased us into something else. Eased us into something else. Until now, Brother Jerry, our young people can't even talk to one another without texting one another. They don't know how to even carry on a conversation. I've seen them today. Oh, they are texting going all day. And after church, they don't act like they know each other because they can't talk to each other without a phone in their head today. I'm preaching on mine. Let me preach on mine today. Let me preach on mine. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It's crazy. I tell you, it's fun crazy. Lexi got at that age that she wanted. I said, all right, if you think you can handle it, I'll let you have it. But you better not do nothing that I don't approve of and we'll be gone. It'll be gone. But you know what? She's done good with not posting a bunch of foolishness. But I realized that the influencers have been again the influencer. You know what she wants? I want to get I want one of them Stanley Cubs. I said, all right, we'll get you one of them Stanley Cubs. You know where it's at now? Up in the cabin somewhere. What impact? What impact? You say that's foolishness today. Now I tell you, that's where we are, Brother Jerry. When a man or a woman gets up and preach the word of God, our young people don't really find no interest in it. But as soon as they get out of the church, they want to begin to scroll and see all this that people put on there. And that's who they want to follow after. Yeah. Find somebody to follow after that walks the walk of right. God. Right. That you can get a hold of the power of God today. Right. That God will be pleased with you. Right. Yeah. I ain't meddling in no way. I'm just preaching, oh, brother. Yeah. I'm just trying to preach sound doctrine. You say, what are you saying, preacher? We ain't got it like we used to have. Brother Jason, I'm afraid we don't today. Brother Ben, I'm afraid we don't today. Why, Brother We've been distracted by the world. We're distracted by the enemy today. And he's crept in and he's took the power of God right out of us. And we don't even realize it. We don't even realize it today. I can't let nothing get ahead of me and God. I tell you what, today you can work six days a week, be the best that ever was. I tell you what, Brother Charlie, if you let it get a pet of God, if you don't fast and pray, I tell you what he'll do, you don't do it on the day of judgment. He'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Oh Lord, I don't do it. I work, I don't this, I don't that. I was an outstanding person. I tell you what, today, it don't matter. If you ain't doing the will of God, he is not pleased today. You may say, why can't I get a hold of him like I want to? Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Maybe he's trying to tell us something, Brother Jerry. Maybe people was here and Brother Tim Charles told that a while back. And I thought it stuck with me ever since. Maybe he's here and no doubt up to now. Thought that maybe that brother, maybe that poor man, that brother poor man, began to talk to the Lord. He said, Lord, I want to hear from you. I want you to talk to me. We had a long time. He never heard the voice of God. He said, Lord, I want you to talk to me. I want you to speak to me. Went on, Brother Jerry, went on. After a while, the Lord finally come to him. He said, I've been talking to you the whole time. But you lie, so loud to hear me. You lie, so loud to hear me. I've been there, Brother Jerry. I've been there when life has got so loud that I couldn't hear the voice of God and what he wanted me to do with my life, where he wanted me to go, what he wanted me to preach, what he wanted me to sing today. I tell you what, it all goes with it. If we don't listen to God, we'll not know what He wants us to do. We get comfortable, we do. Yeah. I've been there, we get comfortable. Yeah. You go to work, come back, go to work, come back Friday night, come for a jury. Yeah. We're as dead as four o'clock. Yeah. We're as dead as four o'clock. Yeah. Why? Because we've done for ourselves all week long. Yeah. Come back to the house of God, and then we're trying to feel. Say, Lord, I just need a little bit to go on. I just need a little bit to go on. You know what we've done? We've neglected Him. And then when it comes time for us to get on in, we expect Him yeah. to come to us. I tell you what, Brother Jerry, as you say, we don't need to use Him as a spare tar. He, he ain't no spare tar. I like to put Him ahead of everything else. Yeah. I like to put Him ahead of everything else. Yeah. I thought yeah. maybe Brother Jerry come this way. I begin to ponder and I said, Lord, how many times? How many times in the morning the first thing we do, we 
to go back and get it. You know how it is. You feel like you about ain't, you've lost everything if you lose that phone. I said, no, let's leave it. Let's just leave it. I tell you what, Brother Jerry, that's what we need to do. Yeah. We just need to leave it. Yeah. Just leave it alone. That ain't nothing that important anyways, Brother Jerry. I like to get a hold of the power of God today. Yeah. And it would come by and help our people. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I know, oh, I know, Brother Jerry, nowadays used to, if you preached on somebody's money, that's what made them mad. <laughs> nowadays, if you preach on social media, they're going to get tight mad. Yeah. I tell you what, Brother Jerry, we have come down to the time and it's a shame yeah. that that's where we really are, the whole this faith. Yeah. That we can't preach on things that is causing our people destruction today. And they don't even realize it. Right. They don't even realize it. Oh. I thought maybe you heard me say this now, hush. Oh. Let me preach on guests for a minute. <laughs> thought maybe she she had it in there for a long time. She'd post a little bit here and there, and one day she told me. She was getting ready to post maybe pictures of Lexi and Millie when they were real little. I mean, it's been years ago. How did she begin to get ready to post something and she stopped? She said, you know what? She said, I begin to ask myself, why am I even putting this on there anyways? Why am I going to put this on here anyways? She said, all it is is the brag. All it is is the brag. I tell you what, dear, if it's the brag, you've done it wrong anyhow. We're in trouble anyhow. If that's what you're doing it for, you're in trouble anyhow. You say you want us to be excited for you? Let me tell you something. Let me be excited about. Get a hold of the power of God. Yeah. And I'll be excited for you today. Right. I can care less what you do in this life. Right. I'm glad for you today. But I can care less today. Right. I need the power of God right. today. Right. More than anything. Right. My children need the power of God. Right. Teach them how to get a hold of it today. Amen. Teach them how to get a hold of it today. Right. We'll be glad for you. I know they'll go away and say whatever, but I tell you what, Brother Jerry, we need more of God than we ever have in our life. You say, why do them older saints seem like they got a hold of God more? Because they had less than what we got. They had less. You know what? I told them the other day, Brother Jerry, I had the opportunity to stay on out for a bait. You buggy. You know, back then, him and Renee, and I got to stay quite a bit. You buggy take me over a lot. I'd stay all night, you know, one time, maybe about a week at a time. Got to see how that man lived, see how he walked, how he done. All he had was a Bible. That's all he had for a girl was a Bible. He'd go in there, he would be sitting reading that Bible. About all day long, reading the Bible. After a while, we went up on the hill, me and uh, Jesse and Jason walked up on the bank up there, found a big old pile of rocks. And I, then, I was young, I didn't know no better. I was like, what in the world is this? You know what? They began to uncover them rocks and there was a cooler with the Bible in it. They said, this is where uh, Dad comes and prays. Yeah. Big old rock pile yeah. on the back. Had yeah. a Bible in a cooler. Wow. Keep it dry. I tell you what, we, fought, uh, we fell a long ways. Oh, yeah. We fell a long ways, Brother Doug. Yeah. I can do better, Brother Jerry. I can do better. Yeah. I let this world begin to get in me. You know what I like to do? I like to get it out and say, I don't want none of it. Yeah. Let me get back to what those 